Hi, it's me, Marcus. Welcome to another edition of Top Beer on Tuesday. Now, tonight's beer, when I bought it, I thought, I don't think I've had this before. Uh, but since then, I'm thinking, oh, do you know I think I've had this? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going to pretend I haven't had it. I might not have had it. Um, we'll see. I'm going to do it as a review as if I haven't had this beer before. <laughs> okay. I have had a Coco Wonderland beer, but it wasn't this one. Uh, this is Coco Wonderland Chocolate Porter. 6.8%. So it's quite strong. There we are. So... I know that the other one was that I had Coco Wonderland was quite nice, but let's see what this is like. Oh, now oh. straight away getting the yeah beautiful coffee notes, coffee and hot chocolate. Before I go on, I'm sorry if you can hear the fan heater going. It gets really cold in here. And that's all I've got to heat it in here with. Um, so I'll try and sort something better out in the future. But tonight you'll have to just bear with us. Now it, it smells beautiful. It's malty. It's sort of got a slight, almost like a Horlicks hot chocolate coffee. Yeah, that's what it's, it's like getting a Horlicks. Right, this is it. It's like making a mocha and instead of putting milk in, you put Horlicks in. And that's the smell. So I don't know what the taste will be like. Maybe it'll be the same. As I pour it, it looks quite sort of like full bodied. Much lighter on the nose from the glass, but as you can see, it's pretty black. You can't. No, there's no sin through that at all. I'm even holding it up to the light. And you can't, I can't see through that at all. So it's, yeah, jet black. Yeah, beautiful. Right, I'm going to give it a try. Cheers. That's good. That is good. Right. First of all, it's got a lovely coffee taste, oaky, oaky porter with a nice sort of coffee taste. I was expecting a little bit more chocolate, but you know, let's give it a bit more, a bit more of a try. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's nice. It's got kind of like, if you let it warm up in your mouth a bit, on the finish, there's kind of like a, a slight, a slight whiskey 
uh, flavour. In a good way, that is. It, it doesn't taste like sweet, like a wi the sweetness of whiskey, but it's got that oaky, that oakiness from like a, well, for an oak barreled whiskey. That is beautiful, it really is. Uh, the winner of a large number of accolades in the UK internationally, Coca Wonderland is an absolute go to for many Thornbridge drinkers. Oh, so it's. Um, yeah, Thornbridge Brewery, Coco Wonderland, Chocolate Porter. But I think I've had Coco Wonderland like a stout or something, or, or, or something different, I don't know. Um, balanced and sturdy with a light roastiness so there you are that's the oaky flavour and distinct touches of mocha and raisin that was the flavour I was trying to get it's like a an oaky I said um, whiskey whiskey or like dark rum uh, this foundation allows the intense and luxurious cocoa flavours to truly stand out without overpowering the beer itself. The decadent chocolate notes are present from the first scent to the last drop. If I'm honest, that is the only bit that could do with a little bit more emphasis is the chocolate. Ah, you get it on the nose. No, it's been in the glass a little while. Often when you pour a beer, the first for the first few minutes, there's a slight metallic-y uh, smell to it when it's come out of a can. And uh, that dies off after a couple of minutes. It's always worth going back to the nose again. And yeah, that's the chocolate coming through. Oh. That's a lovely, lovely beer. Nice winter beer. A winter one to have in front of the log fire. Might be a bit different if you're having it at room temperature or, you know, slightly cooler than room temperature. This has been out of the fridge, so I think there's probably a bit more flavour to come through. Anyway, I'm going to score this. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it thoroughly deserves that. And I would be interested to try it again, probably at room temperature. Anyway, maybe you do that and uh, leave your comments down below. Um, so there. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and enjoy the rest of your week until next time I see you, which will be next Tuesday. Till then, do take care. Cheers.